Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about why almond water is so important in the back rooms. I've gotten some questions about this in the comments, so I decided to make a full video about it. And if anybody has any more questions about the back rooms, just leave a comment below and I will make a video about it. But with all that said, let's get right into the explanation. Also, I'm sick right now, so sorry for my voice. So if you've watched any of my videos about the back rooms, you've definitely heard me mention almond water. And if you're anything like I was when I first started learning about the back rooms, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what the heck's almond water? Like, what is that? Well, almond water is the main source of hydration as well as stability throughout all of the back rooms. It's found in tons of places scattered throughout the levels and comes in many different varieties. It can be found in clear bottles, metal bottles, wine bottles, cartons, and in some levels, it even flows through the pipes or into water fountains. Typically, all the bottles don't have any branding or logos on them, so it's up to you to identify if it's actually almond water. As far as taste goes, it tastes like a sweet vanilla rose water or sometimes has a faint mint taste. Almond water can be traded with some entities and can also repel some entities. It can also be used to cure certain sicknesses or ailments that are common in the back rooms. Luckily, almond water is fairly easy to identify. It has a very distinct smell of vanilla and rose and tastes like a watery almond butter. There are tons of really dangerous liquids in the back rooms, so if none of them smell like vanilla and rose, then just avoid them at all costs. Like I said earlier, on some levels, almond water runs through pipes and water fountains. This is the case on level 1008 and tons of other levels as well. For an unknown reason, almond water can actually treat ailments that are common in the back rooms. It stops the symptoms of the disease, that's that disease you get from the black mold in the back rooms, and can even stop someone from turning into a wretch. If you've watched my videos, you know you do not want to be a wretch. So that's clutch. It can also help a wanderer maintain their sanity and stay focused when facing entities like watchers or other harmful ones. Another use of almond water is taming entities. Now this doesn't work with all of the tameable creatures, but it does work with death moths and jerrys as well as several more. I'm gonna make a video on all the tameable creatures, so I'm not gonna say them all here. Some creatures hate almond water, which means that you can use that to your advantage by using it as a repellent. The best way to get almond water is to get some on level four, it seems to be everywhere on this level, inside of coolers, vending machines, running through the pipes into the water fountains, but like I said earlier, almond water can be found everywhere. And a rule of thumb, if you want to find some almond water, if there's people around, then there's probably water there as well. Just go to wherever the people are. So to wrap everything up, almond water is pretty much a slightly sweet, rosy vanilla water that helps a traveler stay focused and hydrated throughout their time in the back rooms. It can be used to treat sicknesses and tame entities, as well as repelling entities. So with all of those things going for it, I think it's pretty safe to say that almond water is one of, if not, the most important item in the back rooms. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this explanation. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.